It's mid-November and finally fall has come to California. The hunters are hitting the field along with Louie and Penny, ready to show off what they've learned all year. It's Penny's first time in the field, right along next to Louie who's had one year experience. They're hunting what the rest of us call the king of game birds. With Penny in the lead, we hit the field marching. It's not long before her instincts kick in. She's had a little bit of training, but nothing formal. But she knows exactly what to do. And just like that, Penny is on board. She's got her very own first pheasant kill. Well, not quite a retrieve, but we'll work on that later. To be honest though, it's not really about the kill. Sometimes it's just about seeing the dogs work. Finding pheasants in California is definitely a challenge. A combination of habitat loss, very dry weather, along with new agricultural practices has made finding wild pheasants something of the past. It's really a shame because this is one very fun sport that many people can get into. With birds in the bag, we had a great opener. The dogs performed well, and watching them do what they love is what really matters. Now let's make a simple dinner. We've got the birds, feather them like in the video that I posted before, then take out the backbone and butterfly from the back and not the front. Now comes the fun part, go ahead and spread it all around the bird, making sure to get as much surface contact as possible. Get it all in there. Now for the potatoes, just cube them normally, down the back and then a couple times, get yourself some nice pieces. A little olive oil into a pan. Get it really nice and hot. At that point, go ahead and add your pheasant to it. What we want here is a real good sear. To help it brown more evenly, we threw a heavy pot on top. The smell at this point is amazing. Have your oven preheated to 400 degrees and add the potatoes with the bird to it now. I love one pot cooking, it makes it so much simpler to clean up. It's been a good 35 minutes and we're pulling the bird out to cool. The butter and the herbs and all of the potatoes, oh, it smells so good. Alrighty, it's time to eat the fruit of our labors. This is the wing. Now, I normally don't keep the wing. I felt kind of bad this time, so I saved it. Kind of tough. See here? Nice, white, brush meat. Mmm. There's a little salt, but otherwise, mm, really good. And, potatoes. Mmm. Oh. I love potatoes, especially baked like this. Oh. They're good. Now, breast meat is pretty good. But me, I like dark meat. Got that nice skin on there still. We plucked this bird.
Mmm. Oh, those herbs really come through with the fat and the skin and everything. And the butter. Oh man. This is seriously good. The thing is good. Now, I've heard that pheasant drumsticks can be pretty, pretty tough. Mm. And these are all right. Okay. Keep in mind, these are pen-raised birds. So because of that, they didn't have live the wild um, life, running around from predators and hawks and uh, coyotes and stuff. So honestly, it's pretty tender. This is really, really good. Mm. Just a hint, like taste of like a wild bird of, of wild meat. It makes it so much better. Oh, can I have more Alright guys. Thank you for watching. As some of you may know, we no longer receive any uh, monetization for hunting videos, so all these videos are only because we have a love for the sport. So um, continue to support us. Keep watching our videos. Watch a fishing video or two just to give us those uh, monetizations back. Thank you so much.